ready to go. If we make the right choices, I believe we're on the cusp of an energy transformation that's going to completely fundamentally transform our lives and our economies. If you think about it, throughout most of human history, we've been on a quest to go somewhere else to get our energy. Indeed, since humans first discovered fire, we've had a one-way relationship with energy, and that we've gone somewhere else to get it. So whether it's gathering firewood, or shoveling coal, or hooking up an electrical wire to our homes, the energy that we have consumed to heat our food and move our water and to heat our homes has come from somebody somewhere else. And if you think about it, over the last 70 years, the places we've gotten our energy have become more complicated, more centralized, and made us more vulnerable. And I think most of us felt that vulnerability on August 14, 2003, when we had the blackout. And so we've developed power lines and constructed power plants to essentially bring energy to our homes and suck money out of those homes. As a matter of fact, energy is so concentrated in Ontario now, we get all of our electricity, or actually 50% of our electricity, from three nuclear plants. And now it's not just limited to our homes, it also includes our entire transportation systems. So now we live in a world where we look harder and we dig deeper for energy. We build, we spend billions on pipelines to transport it all over North America to power our cars, to power our homes, and to fuel our economy. And even though with all the environmental and health uh, problems and the concerns around the impending climate crisis, we can't seem to break our addiction to it. But I'm gonna ask you all tonight to take a moment to join me in a leap of faith and reimagine our energy systems in our houses. This is a duplex that was built in Ottawa and it's Canada's first certified passive house. The annual heating bill for this house and is less than $400. So if you combine a passive house that is designed to keep the heat in in the winter and the heat out in the summer with solar panels that produce electricity, we're now on the verge of turning the energy equation upside down. And then if we begin to heat water with sunlight, as one of my favorite local pubs does, then we completely turn the energy equation upside down. And for the first time in human history, our houses and our buildings can become profit centers, literally power plants that produce more energy than they consume. So can you imagine having a Guelph Hydro bill that looks like this? And this is reality in thousands of German households. And it's not just our homes, it's our cars. This Windsor company has developed solar panels that charge your car so you can drive it around town. Imagine having your car plugged in overnight where you're literally filling it up with cheap wind power that maximizes production at night and then spending the daytime selling that into the grid at a profit during peak demand, literally turning our biggest money pit our cars into a profit center. So with the introduction of the smart grid, we can actually turn our homes and our cars into the real smart centers of the 21st century. Places where people, not corporations, generate profits from producing energy. And folks, this isn't science fiction. It's actually happening in over 100 German communities that today produce more renewable energy than they consume. And this energy transformation is transforming Germany's economy. We create 7.5 times more jobs by investing in green energy than we do in the oil and gas sector. And we create even more jobs by investing in energy efficient building retrofits and public transit than we do in yesterday's economy. So the local Energy revolution is a game changer, but it's also a difficult game changer because there are so many vested interests that want to prevent it from happening. And so I believe 
that the energy transformation that we are about to make will not happen in the boardrooms of the big energy companies, but it's going to happen at the kitchen tables of people like you and me who decide we want to imagine a different kind of world and literally turn our houses into power plants and our cars into storage units. Thank you.